Hello. Hi. Some whom may have seen our last segment may be still standing on the thought that they're being loyal to the watchtower and at the same time upset perhaps at the suggestion that we definitely made and I think Ray Franz is clearly making here that in practice Jehovah's Witnesses put the organization's publications ahead of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And yet what Ray Franz is anxious to do here to offset any double think there is going on in the organization or in Jehovah's Witnesses' minds about this, he wants to show that this this perspective has been there from the beginning. Pastor mm -hmm. Russell taught this himself yeah, in it's, print. It's always been encouraged. So in the next, we're going to have sections from the Watchtower as long ago as 1910 where it's very plain what the society was officially teaching right. on this score back then. Okay. Some points made by the Watchtower Society's officials reflected remarkably statements expressed some 45 years earlier by Pastor Russell in the latter years of his presidency. In September 15, 1910, issue of the Watchtower, the Society's first president compared the value of straight Bible reading with the value of reading the Scripture Studies a set of six volumes he wrote. This was his estimation. If then the Lord has provided us with something in our day that other days than those of the apostles knew nothing about, no matter how good nor how wise they were, for us to ignore the line of teaching which has been thus developed would be, in our judgment, to ignore the Lord's providences. It is for each one to think for himself, however, and to guide his conduct in every way accordingly. If the six volumes of scripture studies are practically the Bible topically arranged, with Bible proof texts given, we might not improperly name the volumes the Bible in an arranged form. That is to say, they are not merely comments on the Bible, but they are practically the Bible itself, since there is no desire to build any doctrine or thought on any individual preference or in any individual wisdom, but to present the entire matter on the lines of the Word of God. We therefore think it is safe to follow this kind of reading, this kind of instruction, this kind of Bible study, meaning to read the volumes themselves in, in groups. Is to read the, the Bible, yeah. Or personally. He goes on, furthermore, not only do we find that people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible by itself, but we see also that if anyone lays the scripture studies aside, even after he has used them, after he's become familiar with them, after he's read them for 10 years, if he then lays them aside and ignores them and goes to the Bible alone, though he has understood his Bible for 10 years, our experience shows that within two years he goes into darkness. On the other hand, if he had merely read the scripture studies with the references, and had not read a page of the Bible as such, he would be in the light at the end of the two years, because he would have had the light of the scriptures. Oh, very horrifying. <laughs> All right, so now we're uh, a new subheading. They shall be all taught of God. S still Russell talking. Yes, yeah, still, still Russell. We would conclude practically that we could not understand anything about the Bible except as it was revealed. We would therefore not waste a great deal of time doing what we know some people do, reading chapter after chapter to no profit. We would not think of doing it. We would not think we were studying the scriptures at all. We would think we were following the course that has been anything but profitable to ourselves and many others in the past merely reading over the scriptures. We would say that the same Heavenly Father who has guided us to this truth, to this understanding of the scriptures as his children, if he had some further information for us, he would bring it to our attention in some manner. Some other manner, apparently, right? Yeah. And therefore, we would not see the necessity of reading the New Testament every day or every year. We would not consider that necessary. We would consider that the scripture which says they shall be all taught of God would imply 
that in his own appointed way God would bring to our attention whatever feature of divine truth would be meet in due season for the household of faith. Now in the same watch there under the next subheading, which is Scripture studies not a substitute for the Bible. This is not therefore putting the Scripture studies as a substitute for the Bible, because so far as substituting for the Bible, the studies on the contrary continually refer to the Bible. And if one has any doubt as to the, a reference, or if one's recollection should lapse in any degree, one should refresh his memory, and in fact should see that his every thought is in harmony with the Bible, not merely in accord with the Scripture studies, but in accord with the Bible. We might remark that quite a number of the friends in the truth, truth here has a capital T by the way, are making it a rule to read 12 pages of the scripture studies a day. And that we do not know one who has been following this course and making use of the various means of grace the Lord has provided and then he lists them, dawn and testimony meetings, Sunday meetings, pilgrim meetings, and the Berean lessons, manna texts, etc. So it looks like witnesses had a steady diet. Mm -hmm. of meetings and uh, community reading, mm -hmm. who has gone out of the truth. So he says, I don't know anyone who has done all those things that's left the truth. Mm -hmm. We know a great many who, on the contrary, have been of the opinion that they knew these things long ago, while in fact they do not know half of what they did know. They have forgotten more than half of what they read, and they are, they are those who are now stumbling, going into outer darkness. We are not wishing in this to say anything against one's poring over chapters that he does not understand and others do not understand, hoping that he might light on some truth. We have no objection to this. He has a perfect right to do so if he wishes. He has a right to spend weeks and years in this way if he chooses, but the chances even then are that when he does light on something, he will have it all wrong. Now we're going to raise comments. I have heard only vague references to these statements until in 1979 in the governing body session. President Franz referred to them in support of a point he was making, saying that Pastor Russell used to say that if a person had to choose between having just the Bible itself or one of the society's publications, he would be better off with the society's publications. At that time, I found it hard to believe that a statement like that would be ever uh, would ever be repeated as having any validity at all. And when I later looked it up in the 1910 Watchtower, I felt that an organization could recall those statements only with blushing. I agree with Ray. Uh, it, I just found it horrifying <laughs> reading this 1910 Watchtower. And yet at the same time, you made the comment last time at the end that uh, in practice, as witnesses, we were really doing this. Because if you analyze how much time you actually spent reading publications and how much time you actually spent reading the Bible, in practice, even though it would be, I think even then it would be horrifying to say these things, in practice we were living like we believed this, which is a real kick. So I do believe that till today witnesses would still reject the idea that they are more rever they have more reverence for the Watchtower's publications than mm -hmm. they have for the Word of God. Yeah. But in practice we all... Yeah, they we wouldn't verbalize it. it. But if if that's what you spend most of your time reading, and then I think you kind of get settled into thinking you know the Bible. And so then you don't have to read it, even if you don't say that. Well, all the more reason then that we have to say this clearly, and I'm so glad that Ray Franz let, leads off mm -hmm. this discussion of the channel of God. This is the chapter's heading, if, in case we've forgotten. The channel of God, once you've uh, accepted the notion that there is an official channel of God, it yeah. then becomes very easy to default to, yeah. well, then I trust the channel more than the Word of God. Yeah. It, it's easy then to replace it with Bible reading. Re that is to replace Bible reading with reading of the publication. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy. You will 
start to read the publications more. And we have to admit that when we were in the Watchtower, we were continually told that we were to prepare our publications before our meetings, and that's pretty much all we would read at the meetings, yeah. would be a book, as in the book study, and the Watchtower on Sunday. Yeah. But and, and you use the Bible as a system of proof text, as indeed That's it's right. very plain Russell was encouraging the folks to do yeah. back and, in the And I think most witnesses don't even actually look up the text. But if they did, it would only be bites, mm -hmm. bits and pieces here and there. It's never straight Bible reading, full sections. And then in the next segments, Ray gets a chance to unfold subsequent generations of Watchtower history and how, how this has developed into an addiction you can't even identify in mm -hmm. yourself. Right.